That fish is yeah, there's another there's shrimp a right there. There's a shrimp skipping. I just started throwing. Another shrimp out. Yeah, I see him. Pow, big boil. Whoa. I met this guy named Jack Brown. Surf, he yeah. was talking to me about uh, his fishing in South there. Carolina. And you know, we have plenty of redfish in Florida. You know? But it's always interesting to me to go to an area that has a, a different area that has the same species of fish and see how those fish behave in that area. One, there's one still going still on the surface. Still got it. But there's more, obviously. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Great, great, great. You look good. Yeah, you know what I did that time is I kept it up on the surface. Yeah, you made a top water out uh -huh, of that right. jig. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. It was, it was really neat when, you know, these redfish all of a sudden started coming kind of up on the surface and started feeding on the surface. And I threw the grub a couple times, you know, and, and I was bouncing it. How you usually work a grub, you know, bouncing it, bouncing it off the bottom. And I wasn't really able to get a bite that way. And then, you know, because the fish were kind of up on the surface and, and ghosting along, it was a little bit silhouetted and maybe that fish could see it a little bit easier. And so uh, we were able to catch a fish that way just by, you know, using the same lure in a different fashion. Zach, I think he's kind of getting close to it, huh? Well, I got a stick, so I'm headed your way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Oh, come here, big fella. Yipes. Oh, awesome. Okay, hold on. Easy, easy. Yeah, I'm not Take gonna... your time. Take your time. I'm watching. I'm mindful of it. Don't, don't, don't make it. All right, just take your time, bro. I'm mindful. Yipes. We're in a bad situation here, bro. Bad. Oh, the pole? Yeah, the pole. Unstake, unstake. Unstake. I can't. Unstake, okay, go on, go on. unstake. I can't. Okay. Where is he? Just, he's caught in this peril. Go under one more time. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, Whew. Right. You're still connected? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Remember that line may be nicked. Yeah, I got it. <sighs> Woof. <laughs> Look at where he is. You know, the trick to that kind of stuff, Jack, is to back off, back off right away, and, and yeah. hold on to the line on the other side of the pole a little bit. Until I just you couldn't get that, out. I couldn't get the pole out. No worries. Makes for a more exciting fish. <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> Adventures in fish land. Yeah. And he got himself happy again. Talk to me. No, you're good. Just relax. Everything's good. Everything's good. As long as I have an idea where the pole is at. Which shot we have on there? Uh, we have plenty. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna bring him on this side. Come on, baby cakes. You've been very good to us. We're just gonna let you go here in just a second. I promise. Sweet orange thing, you. Easy, easy does it. Looks like he got the jig down a little further. He's hard, bud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Stay in the boat. <laughs> Look at that fish. Is that awesome or what? You beautiful orange Look creature, you. Oh, oh, my man. goodness gracious. And you know what's the best part about it? He gave us a little start, you know? <laughs> it wasn't like a real easy catch. I know. You appreciate, you appreciate those harder ones a little better. Hey, guy, God bless you. Jesus, uh, the jig's marvelous, too, okay. so it should be fine. Now I got to fire it. There we go, good. All right. Well, bud, you gave us a lot of fun. We're going to put you back, and you're going to enjoy life a little bit more. There we go. I'm probably a little tired. I'm going to get a little time. Yeah. Where is he going? Well, you can oh, hear him goes. drumming, yeah. drumming yeah. away, huh? I see, he just, he just, he's gone. He's ready. Look at him. Wee ha. God, man. Oh, <laughs> smoke. Yeah. That is awesome. We need to do that again. We really do. And there's more out here to do. You know what? If it ends with that one, I am really happy. <laughs> Me too. We're, in, we're both in the boat. <laughs> we we're attached. We haven't fallen out of the boat. <laughs> That's always a good thing. South Carolina itself 
was a, a, a really a, a beautiful place. You know, I love plants and I love uh, the, the topography and geography of an area. And, and there was just something about, you know, the drive in with, the, you know, with all the live oaks and all the Spanish mosses hanging, hanging off of them, you know, and these things kind of were in the foreground and in the background you see all these uh, salt marshes with Spartina grass and salt marshes to me, you know, with all the grasses and all the little creeks and the ponds that are indigenous to that sort of area, uh, to me, it's just like equal redfish, and they equal redfish in a big way. Still not sure that's fish or musk. Starting to think more like fish, though. One of the things that I, I really enjoy about fishing is the ability to kind of use all different sorts of tackle. There's times when those fish where we were fishing anyway, weren't really you know, active and we were doing a lot of casting and retrieving, casting and retrieving. And finally, we kind of stumbled into a place where they were just kind of ghosting around. They weren't really feeding, they weren't really active, but you know, we were able to just to, by, by you know, that small boat being very quiet, we were able to get close to them enough to get in there with a spinning rod and cast a grub and catch one of those fish that way. See him look? He chased it. He chased it. There's still more Got him. Okay. Got him. Yes, sir. Big pot. Big pot. <laughs> yes, sir. Look at these guys. Look at the backs of these guys. They're all around us. We're being attacked. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Ooh, oh, they are busting away. Look, look at them back. Crazy. Oh, man. Crazy. That Wild. is the coolest sight, man. Oh, I love it. I tell you what, I, I, I haven't seen that before. Not like that, you know? Oh, you don't that see it. Really, really neat. Pow! Yeah, you can shrimp. see the little shrimp skipping in front of them, too. One of my favorite fish is redfish. You know, there's just something about them that, that's so cool. You know, I, I, I think you know, both the coloration and, and how they look and where they feed and, you know, the ways that you can fish for them that make them a really, going, really attractive yeah. game. I'm telling you, he's got, yeah. he's got weight. Yikes. Oh, oh, oh mighty. Oh, oh. Double O. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, sorry, Jack. That's <laughs> all <almost> launched you. <laughs> no, I, fine. I thought you were going. My God, look at the size of this guy. Ooh. He does a little bit. He's just doing what he wants. Yeah, know? and you know what? I'm going to kind of let yeah, him before it comes boat him. side. I'd rather have him get... Yeah, I don't need him getting shaky on me. Right. I'd rather have him get shaky out there than mm -hmm. in here. You know what I'm talking about? I'm with you. Okay, we got motor up, right? My motor's up. Yeah. This hole's the only thing you got to go for. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think, I think I'm overage. Yep. Good? You are. You're fine. Watch this other end. Okay, I got it. The dance. Doing that dance again, brother. There we go. Mm. Nice job. Wow. I am really impressed with the strength of these guys. We feed them good. I told you that. <laughs> A healthy so, diet of shrimp and mullet and crab. <laughs> Might be easier on the other side. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to try it. to get him if I can. I have issues. No more suggest issues. to him that he gives up and, you know, make it easier on all of us. Yipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Hi there, guys. I don't think I've ever had a redfish that has quite pulled this hard on me. You know, I got some control of, of him now, you know, pretty much. That. Yeah, you're a little bit more, you know. I'm, bit. Yeah, I'm just, I'm barely pressuring him just a little bit, you know, and just kind of making him work a little bit. But I don't like those, I don't like last minute runs near the boat, you know. Oh, I hate that under the boat. Whoa.
you know, what's especially rewarding is, you know, when they're working like that, you know, and you're having to do like all the right things, you know, and keep doing all the right things. It's a, it's a really neat thing. It's a really neat gig. He allows me, I'm going to try it. Ah, he's a mouthful, brother. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. What do you like, think? I think this is the this biggest is... redfish I've ever caught in my I, I don't normally have to grab him this way. I almost couldn't get my hand around him. Can I hold him? Yes, sir. All yours. I'll get the hook out if you do that. Okay. There we go. Huh? You get the honors here. Give me that rod. You can get to release them. What Thank a you, Mr. sweet fish. fish. You what said it. What an awesome fish. He fought hard, too. Look at him. He's still He's got light. That's amazing. Yeah. He's about ready to kick out. I'm going to savor this for just a second longer, <laughs> no, if you don't you. mind. I don't a blame you. Pat. He's got light. Look at him. OK, guys. You've done enough. Goodbye. Be still my Jack. heart. <laughs> the best, man. Woo. That was the best. Yes. <sighs> oh, that was the best. If you, if, if we find another group of these guys, pick the little bit smaller one. Okay. Please. What you said. <laughs> ah. You know, fly casting is really different from fly fishing. And uh, uh, to me, fly fishing starts after the fly lands in the water. And I feel a lot of people practice a lot of fly casting techniques, but not enough fly fishing techniques. Um, one of the things that I really believe in is, is fish's windows. You know, uh, different fish have different windows in different conditions. Uh, for example, a tarpon in six feet of water, um, with water clarity being very good, have a very large window. Uh, bonefish in this much water, with water being a little turbid, have a very small window. So you really have to fish accordingly. Redfish are even a greater example. You generally have to get the fly a lot closer to redfish by the fact that they're in very shallow water and the water is generally a little turbid. Okay, so their window is very, very small. You generally have to get it uh, closer to them. So I fish a couple of different ways. Uh, if if the fish aren't showing and I'm basically prospecting, okay, I'm basically looking to cover water. And so I'll make a fairly long cast and then I'll make some pretty long strips. I'm basically covering the water. I don't know that the fish are there. I'm basically covering the water. That's one form of fly fishing. Another form of fly fishing starts when you've actually sighted a school of fish, okay? And if you've sighted a school of fish and you make that same strip, that same long strip, you move that fly out of the fish's window in a very short period of time, okay? Um, you know, when you strip that far, you're covering this much distance in every strip. And if the fish's window is only this big, in two strips, you're out of his window. Um, let's say, for example, that circle is the school of fish's window. I'll make the same cast, but I'll shorten up my strips. And basically, what I'm doing is I'm giving that fly a lot of action without eating up a lot of distance. Okay, so the, the trick is to keep the fly in the fish's face for as long a period of time as you can. Guys, so look at I got fish under my pole. I know where they are, bro. I see them. Here's another group right here. Shoot. That has changed a little bit. They're right here. Look at 11 o'clock. Yeah, no, no, I got them for sure. In, in fishing, you know, change is, is, you know, in the course of the day, there's so many different changes that happen in fishing that, that you know, good fishermen really have to kind of adapt to it and kind of go with the flow. You know, if it's cloudy and you're trying to sight fish, you know, that's really not going to work, work very well because you don't have the sun kind of penetrating the water where you can see. So those are the times where you kind of 
you know, prospect a little bit, you know, say if you're fly fishing, you're throwing a fly around and, and blind fishing, or maybe you're, you're throwing to where little things are, are, are waking or shaking or, a, you know, a splash here or a wake there and you're throwing your fly out there and kind of blind fishing a little bit. And sometimes you have to do that and you can be surprised by what you can catch in those moments when you're blind fishing. All right, let it sit. You're in them now. I'm in strip. There you are all over them. You got them. Woo! Oh, what a bite. All I know is I need to breathe more. Oh, you did an awesome job, bro, man. <laughs> really. That was. You know, all we saw was that little, light, little shaky stuff. Let me know what you need. Let's just uh, maybe try to keep pace with them, bro. Okay. You know, just kind of go with them. Kind of go with him. Sweet. Yikes. Warm. Yeah. Making me warm. I'm used to fishing generally in a, in a slightly larger boat, you know, like a like a flat skiff or something like that for for those species of fish. And, and we were fishing in this little tiny canoe and it was very, very close to the water and it just kind of lended itself to a very kind of intimate feeling with, with where you are and stuff. You know, you were, you were, you know, always kind of trying to keep your balance because you know, it was a little tippy, not much. And, uh, but at the same time, it was easy for Jack to pull. He could get around, you know, uh, fairly quick with it. And it was, um, it was really a, a neat experience being that close to the water following this fish. Nice sweet fish. Fix your redfish. Come on, we'll be kind and gentle, I promise. Make a little introduction. Wow. You you know, I told yeah, you, you know, you were right. I, I just kept, didn't think he was like. I, I didn't until we got him close. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's right up there. He is right up there, bro. Let me do it. I'm gonna grab. Him. Got him. Yeah. He Listen is. to him drum. I see <laughs> it's not bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Some moments, really, really, really wonderful he moments. Is, he's just. He, I think he's a little heavy. He's actually a little. You know what I'm saying? Look at the belly. I'm very, yeah. Can I hold him? Sure. Let's get the hook out of him. Okay. You know, barely hit him, dude. Yeah. Look at that. I love that little clouser. Okay, I just, just got to do it one time. Oh, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Loving life. You get to put him back if you want. Unless you want me to do it. No, I oh, yeah. And he's good shape, too. Let's pick two? him up one more time. I got to oh. You know, he's a little, now he's not as bright as the other fish. Yeah, no, no, he wasn't. He's a little paler. Yeah. Listen to him drop. Yeah. He's crazy. I don't think what he's saying is good. No. And I'm not, you know, I don't, we don't need to translate now. But he's happy. Going home. And so am I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as we oh, cast into great, the man. sunset. That was just wonderful. Just wonderful. <sighs> Rewarding when it happens like that. Oh, huh? when it comes, well, we had a. Well, we, we worked. I mean, you worked babies. for it. Oh, yeah. well, you did too. You had to put that fly where the fish were, and they were. Thing is, they're moving so much. You know, it's left, it's right. Right, right. And you know what? That guy barely gave us any indication, indication at all. There. That just, little just shake. A little shake and... Well, okay.